My name is Ulai Bendik Erdal. I am a senior research scientist and project manager at Telenor. In this video, we will demonstrate that live music performed by musicians on different locations may sound good when playing together over 5G, at least over Telenor Research's next generation platform. This is our new 5G experimentation facility here at Telenor headquarters. Based on a state-of-the-art multi-vendor cloud-native 5G standalone core network, the service-based architecture of 5G and 3GPP release 16. The different partners involved have collaborated effectively to integrate the different components and functions to make them work together as a complete 5G standalone core network solution. The new platform will be used as experimentation facility by our ongoing EU-funded projects such as 5G Media Hub, as well as new upcoming projects. Live network music performance with musicians connected from different locations is very challenging from a network performance point of view. It requires broadband network with high bandwidth upstream and downstream, as well as ultra low latency and reliability with respect to bandwidth and jitter. For musicians, it is not the one way latency, but the round trip time of audio between them that is crucial. When playing live from two different locations over 5G, the audio between the musicians is traveling altogether four times over the access network. For live network music performance, the audio round trip time should be lower than 30 milliseconds. In a room or concert hall, the audio is traveling approximately 10.3 meters in 30 milliseconds. If the audio round trip time between musicians is beyond 30 milliseconds, they will struggle to play synchronously. This is one of the reasons a large orchestra needs a conductor. In a network, we may think that audio can travel at the speed of light. However, there are numerous sources for network latency. The access, core and transport networks, user devices, application software, etc. Together with the Department of Musicology at the University of Oslo, we have done some exploration of network music performance over 5G. The latency performance of 5G combined with state-of-the-art musical equipment is not yet good enough for all kinds of music or performers. It works for some improvised music and skilled musicians. Hence, we need to continue the work to optimize networks as well as applications. Telnor Research will continue to do this in the EU-funded project 5G Media Hub and together with NTNU and the University of Oslo.